Hey guys, it's Lilypad Polish, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to recreate this super easy and super simple glitter gradient. And I actually wasn't even going to film this because it's so, so easy to do, but then I realized that I actually don't even have a tutorial on how to do a glitter gradient. I have a tutorial on how to do a regular gradient, and I'll have it linked down below and up in the right hand side in the cards. But I don't have a tutorial showing you guys how to do this glitter gradient and it's so so easy so even if you don't really paint your nails that often you can definitely create this mani easy peasy lemon squeezy especially with prom season coming up this is the perfect mani for that because it's simple but it's really glittery and glam so if you have a dress that is gold and black then this is definitely the mani to do and and obviously you can switch up the colors like pink and gold or whatever so yeah super easy and if you decide to recreate it definitely let me know in the comments down below and if you're willing tag me on all of my social medias I don't know why I said all I only have Instagram and Twitter but I'll have it linked down below anyway and if you want to know how to recreate this Manny then just keep on watching so as you can see, I did already apply my base coat and base polish. I actually wasn't planning on doing the glitter over top of it, but I figured since my nails were already painted black, what better combination than black and gold? So the base coat that I used is the yellow stopper polish. Everything that I mentioned in this video will be linked down below. And the black is this Rimmel Lasting Finish Pro Nail Polish, and it's in black satin. And because glitter is super hard to clean up, I decided to add a little bit of liquid latex to the sides of my nail. And this really isn't necessary. I actually didn't apply it on my right hand that I do off camera and it didn't get that messy. So it's optional. So as I mentioned before, we're going to be using a sponge to do the glitter gradient and I like to use a sponge like this. This is a cosmetic wedge and it would be the same exact thing that you would use to do a regular gradient with regular polishes, but we're going to be using it a little bit differently. So what I like to do is I like to use the tip of the sponge, which is the smallest part, and I like to use the side of the sponge to get the perfect grip of the sponge and so that the sponge is able to really focus on one area of the nail instead of applying glitter to the whole thing. So as you can see, I have the sponge on its side so that I'm able to apply the polish towards the tip of the cosmetic wedge for the easiest application. And the reason why I like to apply the glitter polish onto the sponge as opposed to just using the brush of the polish bottle onto my nail is because when I apply glitter polish onto my nail, it's not as dense and as glittery as I would want it to be because there's a lot of clear polish mixed in with that glitter. So what I like to do is I like to apply the polish onto the sponge so that the sponge is able to soak up all of that extra clear polish, leaving behind only the glitter. So when I apply the sponge onto my nail, it's super glitter packed and I don't need to worry about any sheerness. So now I'm going to start applying it to the tip of my nail. So that's where I start and the focus is going to be on the very tip because that's where it should be most pigmented. So I do one row and then I go a little bit higher and I go again and reapply in that same row and then I go a little bit higher the third time and doing the same thing from left to right because the tip of the nail should be the most pigmented and as I go higher it will be more sheer because there is less product on the sponge. And then just to add to the gradient and add a little bit more glitter, I'm using the thin brush from the glitter polish bottle and I'm adding a few lines all throughout the gradient from left to right. And now that we're all done, I'm just using some tweezers to peel off the liquid latex. And as I said before, it's really not that messy. You can totally go without the liquid latex, but I just decided to take that extra step. And finally, I'm going to be applying my very favorite glossy top coat. This is INM Out The Door, and I'm making sure to cap the edges for a longer lasting manicure. 
and because I absolutely hate the bumpy texture that glitter leaves on my nails, I'm applying a second coat of glossy top coat just to ensure that my nail is nice and smooth and super duper glossy. And that's all for this tutorial. I really hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. And if you did, I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribed. And let me know down in the comments what kind of tutorials you would like to see from me next. If you want to see another more easy nail tutorial like this one. Or if you want to see some cool nail art. Or maybe some stamping. Or maybe some gradient. I don't know. Let me know. I totally didn't mean for that to rhyme. But anyway, let me know in the comments down below any kinds of videos you would like to see from me or maybe another how-to video like the series that I've started. If you don't already know, I started a Nail Art for Beginners series and I'll have it linked down below. But I have two videos so far. I have how to do a gradient and how to stamp. So if you have any more requests for that, that then please let me know because I'm having so much fun making videos for that and yeah that's all for this video thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you soon bye